are we chilling? We in Durban. It's hot outside. That's why we're not outside. But we're grateful. <laughs> um, follow the movement, follow the gang. I actually or genuinely want to make this a full time job, if that's possible. I know it's rare in South Africa, but I want to. Um, and that won't be possible without your thumb hitting the button. It's not really a button, it's like the screen, but you understand. Hit the fucking subscribe button, bro. Hit it. <laughs> Yo, what's good, guys? Welcome back to another flat episode. I mean, it's actually not another flat episode. It's actually the very first ever episode of my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Martino Sopalo. I am genuinely excited and gassed to be given this opportunity by myself to actually launch a YouTube video. Um, it's actually been a long time of me plotting ideas and I just never managed to start and I don't know why. I'm excited for this. If you um, like me, like, comment and subscribe on this video <laughs> and comment what you like me to do. I don't know. I hope I don't do fashion content only, you know, uh, but I'm excited for this. I'm like, comment, subscribe now to join the movement. Let's go. As you can see in the title, the get to know me video, but friends are going to ask me the question. I got some of my friends who ask me like tell me what they would like me ask me to tell me what they would like me to answer on camera um if i didn't send you this and you're my friend i'm sorry uh, maybe i forgot or uh maybe yeah oh i forgot i'm sorry um but those that did appreciate y'all thank you um i sent some to those that didn't send the question suck my <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking um but yeah I'm excited to do this. Um, let's get into the question. So the very first ever question being answered by me, Ari. I don't know if you know who that is. That's like a business partner, man. A brother, in fact. Go watch Ari Explodo. One, two, three. Snap. We've been working. Four is coming out very soon. Don't know when. Um, so he asks, how did you get the name Pluto and you still rock with it? For those that don't know, a nickname of mine is Pluto. Um, long story short, you know, growing up, everyone just wanted a nickname for some reason. Well, I used to call myself King Tino. And my big brother would always say, that's not unique enough. That's not unique enough. And it's like, it's not unique. What? Like, everyone wanted a nickname. Everyone. And I remember just thinking to myself, I feel very far-fetched. Like, personally, I've always felt like that. I've always felt I hear of a lot of people. No disrespect. That's just how I used to always feel. The way that name Pluto came in into existence for me was like, Pluto as a planet is a very, very small planet, right? Um, small to a point where it was not recognized. And that's where I was growing up. I was always like the short ass kid. I was like five, three or five, four in like grade, like grade 10. So I was like really, really short. And that's, yeah, you see, I just made a long story of the story. That's just how I sort of like came up with the name, you know, it fell with how I felt about the name and I just rocked with it, I don't know. Um, whoever calls me Pluto, calls me Pluto, whoever addresses me as Martino, it is what it is, you know, but thanks for the question, G. I appreciate you. Um, so many more Rx Pluto. Next question, Blase. I don't know how I call you Blase, G, but I just like the name, Azile. Um, memory in fashion, my earliest memory in fashion I can say is um, just being around my dad. Um, him being a fashion designer, right? I would always like go to his atelier and we would just chill there and look at the beadwork on, on some of the dresses and whatever the case is. And sometimes he would ask us to help me with ironing and whatever. So I would say that would be like my earliest fashion memory. Like just being around my dad's workspace in a sense. Our next question is from <laughs> my homie of mine, <laughs> was actually a rapper slash trapper he done <laughs> uh teddy teddy asked what are your goals in the fashion industry so with goals right okay just fashion um in and itself i just want to have fun with fashion you know um let's make fashion fun again guys um that's big for me it doesn't matter how big i get or how not big i don't get i just want to have fun with fashion if that makes sense thanks for the question though jay um next question is from my good sister Tracy, A, love you, G. Tracy asked, who's a model, by the way, as well. Tracy asked, when was the last time you felt the most non-physical pain? 
Oh, it's a beautiful question. Um, the last time I felt the most non-physical pain was in 2018, when my big bro passed. Yeah. It's just like, my mind did not understand what happened. And that was like the first, first time I legit cried. Yeah. Um, thanks Tracy for the question. A girl hold me on mine's cash asked. As a fashion creative, well, where do you see local fashion brands in the next 20 years, including your brand and the fashion sense in Africa? Okay, so I like to think about it this way. Africa is the only, we the only people that don't have a point to prove when it comes to a lot of things, including fashion, right? Milan has a point to prove. New York has a point to prove. Paris has a point to prove, you know? We the only people that don't have a point to prove. So for us, it's only progressing. It's gonna only it's gonna always be progressive culture for us, you know, growing more than we are right now, like getting better than we are. Shout out to all the homies that are pushing fashion brands. That's just how I see it, bro. I see a lot of progression. <laughs> um, Panache asked, um, "What's your favorite memory?" Mm, <laughs> my favorite memory. I remember when I was a kid, um, it was me and my big bro. So we, did, we didn't know much English, right? When we were like kids, kids, maybe five years old or six. Uh, well, not, not, maybe five. We didn't know much English, so I would go to the park, right? They would send us to crash, but crash was so dead. We always like run away from crash or bunk, if that made sense. And we just go chill in the park or like play in the park for like the whole day, maybe until 10. And people like legit get worried like oh where are they where are they that's like one of my favorite memories um so when we used to go there there used to be this one oh they used to always say yo lighties go home right so now we didn't really know what go home meant <laughs> so we used to call him go home as in that was his name that's what we used to reference him as um yeah and we grew up now it's like oh go home means you know the fuck up out of there and now it's like, we just laugh about it, like, hey, go home. I right, go home. Yeah. Low key, one of my favorite memories. Um, how do you view life? Panasha asked that, by the way, how do you, I view life? You only live once. Um, so I just got in the habit of valuing things. Like I value a lot of things. I value friendship, I value relationship, I value family. That's big for me, the word value. That's just how I view life, you know? Cause end of the day, we're gonna all go meet our makers. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in science, whether you believe in yourself, you know, you only live once, yeah? When it's gone, it's gone. So enjoy it. Um, my brother JJ, that's JJ by the way, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is probably not reaching my fullest potential. You know, you know, so for me, that's my biggest fear is not reaching my fullest potential. You know, if I was a Pokemon, right? Um, a Pokemon animal, I don't know what you call it. If I was a Pokemon animal and I don't evolve into like the big me, you know, or the me that I want to be, I feel like that, that, that for me is scary. Anything else besides, I don't think I have a fear, G. I don't have a fear. Second question JJ asked is, um, has a girl ever broken your heart? <laughs> no, I'm big G. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they try to, they, a lot of them think they do, but you know, they don't. They don't. Anyways, next. Samuel asked, will you be the type of designer that will change your designs based on customer feedback? No. Cause if you if you have this great opinion on my designs, why don't you just like make your own designs? You know? I'll appreciate feedback. I'll definitely appreciate feedback and learn from the feedback, but not change my designs just because someone said they didn't like it. I feel like that's, that's messed up, but yeah. Next question from my brother Prince. So with being a fashion designer, would you say you are limited to how you view clothing or you have a specific code you run by? Honestly, I don't understand. <laughs> Yo, Prince. Um, so with being a fashion designer, would would you say you're limited to how you view clothing or you have a specific code you run by? I feel like, I don't know. Next question. 
Second question from friends. I believe you did get some sort of inspiration that led you um, into pursuing fashion as a whole. So if that inspiration never happened, would you be in would you be in what would you be besides that h gunners i'm sorry <laughs> all right um i i loved the soccer as a kid um but i'm south I'm, I'm in south africa so if you if you understand you understand oh i love art i remember as a kid i just always loved drawing so fashion and art not fashion art soccer or art Kathy and Elijah, which are my girlfriends, asked, by the way, you can catch them on either. Like, comment, and subscribe there as well. They asked, who is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration are my parents. Yeah, my parents. My whole family. My parents. My dad. My dad. What's your type? Someone who's real and loyal. In fact, someone who's naughty. I like that. Someone who's naughty but loyal. You know, you're naughty, okay? But just like a, you know, not even like a sprinkle, just like open the whole fucking bag of loyalty and just like. Everything know. nice. Big loyal. Yeah, and someone like, you know, <laughs> I'm joking. Someone is just real. If you're honest with yourself, I, I'd love that. I'd, I'd appreciate that, even if you're not the most attractive. Mm, yeah. Um, a homie of mine's called Way, okay? I asked. I actually asked two questions. What is your inspiration for the love of fashion? My inspiration for the love of fashion is purely two things, my dad and how good I make myself look. Like you don't, you don't understand. Like I'm too fly. I feel like that's why I got into like making my own clothing. It's cause I saw a gap where nobody was supplying me with how I thought I should look. And I just started making clothes, yeah. And then my dad, obviously being around my dad and like gravitating towards that influence. Second question I asked is, what is your long-term goal that you want to achieve in fashion? Just one tool. My, okay, now let me read it again. What is your long-term goal in fashion? I just want to be happy, you know? I want to make it as fun as possible. Because I feel like that's another reason why I love fashion. Because I, I, I've never viewed it as a job. I'm, I think one day I'm at maybe Louis Vuitton or like Gucci, if I view it as a job, I think I would hate it. You know, because I don't think I'd have as much fun as, as, as possible, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just wanna, long time ago, just have fun with it, bro. Inspire kids, inspire people that also wanna get into fashion. So that's a beautiful thing. Last question. Ooh, thank God. Last question. I finally made it. Ooh, um, SP was the producer slash director of Ida. Again, if you don't know what Ida is, like, comment, and subscribe. What is it that you're afraid of in life at the moment? Um, I think I answered a question like this or similar to this. Not, not reaching my fullest potential, you know? If God put it inside me, okay, let me make a silly example. If God put it in, in me to run 100 meters in 10 seconds, and I'm only running 20 seconds and I'm running 15 seconds. That's not reaching your fullest potential. Especially if you know that you can do better. So I'm not reaching my fullest potential is big for me, you know? Cause I wanna have, as much as I wanna have fun and work hard in life, I wanna reach my fullest potential of who I think I can be. Cause that's my biggest, my biggest opponent is me, you know? And your biggest opponent should be you. But yeah, um, I genuinely enjoyed shooting this video. Um, if you like the vibes, make sure you like. And let me know what you would like. Oof. Let me know what you would like to know. <laughs> Fucking fire. Let me know what you would like to know. Um, and what type of content you'd like me to shoot. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything else. So... Um, stay safe, keep cozy, and stay off the X website. Love you. Peace.